Here we go. Oh, I hate doing that. No, but look at it. It's still working right now. It's still working. Hey everyone, Phone Chef here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Google Pixel 7 Pro to see if it's actually waterproof. I did receive this phone as a gift from Google, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in the Google Pixel 7 Pro, the link to it will be in the video description. Now let's go over what Google claims about this phone and then let's test it out. Straight off the website, under the material section, we have our IP68 dust and water resistance with a little footnote right here. So let's scroll down to the bottom and find 23 and learn more about what they mean by this rating. So it says designed to comply with water protection rating IPX8, which is really good. I'll explain that in just a second for you guys. And it says um, when each device leaves the factory, but the device is not waterproof. So I think there's this little Lego mumbo jumbo between water resistance and waterproof. This device is IPX8 rated when it leaves the factory, but keep in mind they say water resistance is not a permanent condition and diminishes or is lost over time due to normal wear and tear, device repair, disassembly, or damage. Dropping your phone may also result in a loss of water resistance. And this is important too, liquid damage voids the warranty and they have some additional information you can learn about Pixel phones and water. So now let's dive a little bit deeper into what IPX8 means. So I have a helpful IP rating chart. You can find a bunch of these online, but basically the IPX8 or IP68 rating that this device has signifies a couple of different things. First off, the X usually means that it hasn't been tested for any sort of dust protection or solid object. So in this case, we have an IP68 rating. The six means we have the best rating possible. It's dust tight. That's awesome. And then the eight is also the best rating possible as well. This is unique because usually they're, I'd say IPX7 rated, but this one's protected against effects of permanent submersion in water up to 13 feet. If that's true, that's crazy. So I'm not sure theoretically, if that means truly, you could leave it in water straight from the factory permanently. So in less than 13 feet of water, but either way, Heaven forbid you drop this maybe in the lake, the pool, obviously the toilet, things like that. You should be able to quickly remove it, power it off, dry it off, and be good to go. So without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's try it out. Our Pixel 7 Pro, as you see, is powered on here. Now it's time to submerge it in water. Here we go. Oh, I hate doing that. No, but look at it. It's still working right now. It's still working. I'm not even seeing a notification. Sometimes it'll let you know if a port's wet or something like that. But right here, everything is still working great. It's fully submerged underwater. Should we have some fun? Let's see if we can get the fingerprint sensor to work. All right, fingerprint sensor is not working underwater as I would expect. I've tried that with the 6 Pro and same thing. It didn't work either and I'm not even able to you know, move the screen around or anything like that. It's not registering any of our fingers on the screen. Now, ironically, the camera's still trying to do face unlock, so why don't we try to do that? Let's see. Okay, let's put the screen on. Hey, it unlocked our face. Unfortunately, we just can't press the unlock, but technically face unlock did work under a couple of inches of water. Now, just for fun as a bonus, I'm gonna play a couple of seconds of the song Shake the Floor by Music Chef. Music Chef is home to DMCA free, stream safe music for content creators. Let's go ahead, let's give it a listen on max volume and then drop it right in the water. All right, everything's working. Here we go. Oh, a lot of bubbles. Yes. You can see, I guess, some base bubbles. Oh, now they're all gone. Don't know where that water just went, but I can still hear it. Everything's still working great. Oh, we got some bubbles coming out the top there. Interesting. Nothing wants to work though, I'm trying to touch the screen underwater. All right, now let's take it out. Yes, some water was shooting out there and the water on the screen changed the video but we had some water shooting out the top, not too much out the bottom. 
just the top. Interesting. All right, let's dry it off. Phone's dried off. Everything works as you would expect, like it's never been wet before.